This demonstration was shown in the Triangle Microworks booth at Distributech in Orlando in February 2016. The use case being shown in this demo is testing an individual component of a system independently without requiring the entire system to be set up and configured. As an example of this use case, we'll show how a protocol gateway can be tested on its own without the other interfacing equipment. In the demo, the Distributed Test Manager, or DTM, is configured to test the protocol mapping of a real gateway. The device under test is the Triangle Microworks SCADA Data Gateway, our multi-purpose gateway which can perform protocol conversion and functions as a data concentrator. The SCADA Data Gateway is a software-based gateway which can run on Windows. To learn more about the SCADA Data Gateway, click on the links below to see more videos. For the demo, the SCADA Data Gateway is configured to concentrate data from 100 IEDs using IEC 61850 reports. The gateway receives the reports from the IEDs and then translates the data objects in the reports to DNP3 points. On the up-channel side of the gateway, a SCADA DNP3 master sends report by exception pulls to the DNP3 outstation in the gateway. The gateway passes the map data from the IEDs up to the SCADA DNP3 master. In order to test the mapping configuration of the gateway on its own, we would like to simulate both the IEDs on the IEC 61850 side of the gateway and the SCADA master on the DNP3 side of the gateway. DTM is used to simulate these interfaces and manage the protocol messages on both sides of the gateway. The result is an observed mapping table which shows how the gateway performed during the test. The mapping table can then be used by the tester to verify that the expected behavior was observed from the gateway. Without DTM, you would typically need the SCD file for the network to be completed, including all of the point mappings. The actual devices would need to be present, and you would need test equipment to generate realistic signals for each device being tested. With DTM, you can simulate some or all of the devices. If the SCD file and mappings are not complete, you can limit testing to just those sections that are complete, and DTM can simulate device signals, eliminating the need for expensive test equipment. Now I'll show the DTM application, which is where we will run and observe the gateway mapping test. There are several windows in the DTM user interface. On the left, there's a workspace which shows all of the simulated devices, including 100 IEDs, which are IEC 61850 servers, and one DNP3 master, which represents the SCADA system. In the middle of the screen is a custom display which was created using Insight software, which is part of all Triangle Microworks test tools. The custom display uses an underlying image with graphics objects placed on top to create an interactive test interface. On the right, there is a network window which shows us which PC the DTM application is running on. For this demo, we're running a single DT host application on one PC for all simulated devices. DTM is a distributed application which can be run on multiple PCs in order to distribute the simulation across a network. For example, we could run some IEDs on a computer attached to one switch, and some IEDs could run on a PC attached to a different switch. DTM also supports multiple LAN adapters for each PC and supports multiple IP addresses configured for each LAN adapter. For the demo we showed in our booth at Distributech, we configured the LAN adapter to have 100 IP addresses so that each simulated IED used a separate IP address on the one LAN adapter. We'll now look at the object model for the simulated IEDs. There are multiple datasets configured for each IED. These datasets are used to define which objects will be reported to the gateway using IEC 61850 reports. During the mapping test, DTM will change each individual data attribute for all of these data objects for each data set in the IED. Now we'll bring up the data points for the DNP3 master. The IEC 61850 objects are mapped to these DNP3 points using binary inputs, double-bit inputs, and analog inputs. The SCADA data gateway supports all DNP3 point types, but for simplicity, we're limiting the test to these three data types. In order to run the test, we've created a test script, which will run in the Insight scripting engine, which supports standard JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language which supports many common programming functions and has an API for direct access into protocol-specific functions. 
For example, an event-driven script can be created which triggers off KUS messages or changes points in the data model for a simulated device. DTM makes it easy to map the script to the object model by supporting drag and drop. So for example, I can find a point in the data model, drag it onto the script, and a new point is created in the script. The test script starts by parsing the IEC 61850 object model, including both complex objects and data attributes, and then creates a list of data attributes that are in the data sets. This list will serve as the list of points to be tested. For this example, we're limiting the test to the common data classes MX, or measurands, which will be DNP3 analog endpoints, and ST, statuses, which will become DNP3 binary and double-bit inputs. After the list of data attributes, or DAs, is created, the script steps through each DA and changes the value. As each IEC 61850 DA is changed, the DTM script waits to see which point changes on the DNP3 master side. The script waits long enough for the IEC 61850 report to be sent by the IED to the gateway, and then for the SCADA master to pull the outstation in the gateway. In this test, the limiting factor is the DNP3 pull, which is performed once a second. As data changes are detected, the script checks to make sure the value on the IEC 61850DA matches the DNP3 point on the other side of the gateway. If the values match, the script writes the result to an Excel file and then moves to the next DA in the list of test points. Before running the script, I will choose which IEDs I would like to include in the test. For example, I'll choose 1, 3, and 5. And I can choose which data set should be tested. I'm going to choose all of the data sets except for tracking reports. The script will test all of these data sets it finds in each of these IEDs. When I click Start Test, DTM starts executing the test. The custom display shows us which IED is being tested, as well as which data set is being tested, and which DA is being changed currently. The DTM output log shows us the ongoing results of the test. The path for each IEC 61850DA is printed along with any corresponding DNP3 data point changes. After the script has gone through every DA in the datasets, it opens the results in an Excel file. The first column shows the dataset that was tested. The second column shows the path for each DA tested, including the logical node, the data object, and the data attribute. The third column shows the observed DNP3 point which changed. And the fourth column shows the data type for each point. You can see that every IEC 61850DA was not mapped to the DNP3 point. For this example, we only mapped a handful of points, including the position of one breaker, one switch, and some of the voltages and currents. So as you can see, we were able to verify mappings of the gateway without having the physical devices present for the IEDs and the DNP3 master. DTM simulated both the DNP3 master and the IEDs that were connected to the gateway. By using DTM, we were able to verify the gateway mappings without having all of the devices present.